If you're looking for a way to make your print-on-demand or digital design stand out, here's a great technique. You can put an object inside of a shape and have part of it outside of the shape. It's like it's bursting out of a comic book panel or bursting out of a shape. Here's an example. This is one of my favorite drinking glasses. And you can see Spidey is crawling out of the circle as if it's a comic book panel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do this in Photoshop. It's actually pretty easy once you understand the concepts. Let's jump in. Okay, so I'm in Photoshop and I've got two layers set up. My first layer I'm just going to turn off the visibility here. My first layer is just an ellipse. It's just a circle that I drew in Photoshop. The second layer is my Spider-Man picture. So I'm going to select the Spider-Man picture and I can move him around. So what I want to do now is somehow delete out the leg to have him crawling out of the circle. I want to keep the arm, but I want to have this top half underneath and inside the circle. I'm going to duplicate the layer of Spider-Man. So I've got two Spider-Mans now. I'm going to turn off one of the layers, okay? And I'm just going to throw him down to the very bottom just to get him out of the way. Okay, so the first part is I'm going to take my Spider-Man picture and I'm going to take my ellipse picture. I'm going to highlight both layers, hold down the Alt key in between them, and I'm going to click. That's going to create now a layer mask so that in the back here with the leg, that is actually what I want. But down below, that is not what I want because I want the arm to come out of the circle. So now I'm going to turn on the secondary layer and I'm going to push him right up to the very, very top. Okay, so when I turn off the very top layer, you'll see I've got my chopped up piece of Spider-Man here. And when I turn on the layer, I've got exactly the right piece here at the bottom. So now I'm just going to rasterize this top layer. I'm going to right click on the layer and I'm going to go to rasterize. That just means that I can make changes to it. Okay, so with the top layer rasterized, all you need to do now is select your eraser tool. So I've got that about halfway down the page and I've just selected it there. You can just now delete out the top piece. Now remember, I'm only deleting out up to the circle, but I can go right over the circle. Look at that. I can actually delete out as much as I want because all I'm doing now is making this background layer visible. I'm just simply removing this layer here. So you've got two Spider-Man layers that are completely in sync with each other so that the average viewer cannot tell. It's a very easy technique and what you have now is really two pieces of Spider-Man. You've got the bottom layer that is completely inside and the top layer which is really, all you really care about is this piece right there. I could actually delete out all of this Spider-Man, make it really messy and when I turn on the other piece all I really care about is the arm. And so it looks perfect. Really, really quick tutorial on how you can have something build out of a circle. The background and the foreground makes a great effect for a t-shirt or for a fine art print. I really hope you found this video helpful. I do want to point out, of course, you would not sell this because I don't have the trademark to Spider-Man. I'm just using this as an example because if you're using comic book designs or anything where something's jumping out of a background, it can be a really neat effect. Hope you found that helpful. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your Photoshop skills.